Before we move to the next uh, chapter, I would like to explain you a little bit and show you what is happening behind the scenes here. When we've clicked on the Proceed to PayPal button, we go to our uh, database, click on the Orders table, and click on the Browse. You can see we've clicked three times and the order has been added three times here. Uh, if we go to Orders Items and click on the Browse button, you can see that we have only Order 2 and Order 3 items. The reason being is because obviously the first arrow uh, was pointing at the, the arrow inside of the code which was adding items to this order's items. That's why it wasn't executed. It did add order, but it, but it didn't add order items, obviously. So uh, as you can see, this is what's happening. We first create the order, then we take the ID of the specific order and add items to our order items so that we know which product uh, what quantity and obviously what price at the time uh, of the purchase uh, was assigned to the specific product. So that's our database. Now if we go back to the browser, uh, one thing we need to do is if we open, sorry, not this one, if we open our browser, go to our JS folder and open basket.js, if we scroll down to our method, to our function, sorry, which basically uh, is called send to PayPal and sends us basically to PayPal. If we comment the line with the sp uh, form pay underscore PayPal submit to make sure that the, when we click on the button, we're not going to be redirected to PayPal. If we go back to our browser, refresh and click on proceed to PayPal, I want you to see what is happening actually when we click this button and obviously everything works without any errors. So our FRM underscore PPDF we have the entire form with all of the information which we are sending to PayPal. So this is what's happening. When we uh, call add uh, field uh, method, then it's adding a hidden field with the specific value and the name of the, of the specific field. So this is what's happening actually basically here. So you can see we've got the name of the product, all sorts of things with the prices, quantities as well, quantity for one for, for product number one, quantity for product number two, and so on. And obviously, we also pre-populate uh, the fields for address of the person who's, purchase, who's making a purchase, uh, CD state, and so on. Obviously, as you realized, we haven't got a business uh, value here. In other words, we simply can't process this order because PayPal doesn't know where to send this order to. Basically, where to send the money to, who is the business, which is basically whose website is it coming from, and so on. So let's close our fire back, go back and uncomment this submit line, uh, save the file, close this one. We can also close paypal.php. And let's move to the next chapter.